Today I'm going to show you how to quickly take this uh, buckyball uh, magnetic spheres and um, put it back into this cube form. Um, first thing you want to do when you have a messy uh, strand of these beads is pull out uh, this little magnetic uh, strip of spheres and uh, this aligns the spheres into kind of the north-south poles and organizes them so that you can uh, begin to prepare and um, create your cube again. This takes a, f a few seconds. Um, now all you'll need to do this is uh, these magnets of course and then a couple of uh, business cards that are pretty thick and I'll show you how to use these in just a second. But you'll pull this out and I want to make this into a really quick video so that uh, you can start practicing and not have to listen to me the whole time. So we have this long strand and you just connect the ends together. Okay. Now this is a, kind of a tricky part. You make sure you bend these together, uh, try to get them straight, and then put them together and then the whole thing kind of just zips up. Now try not to get any kinks. Be careful as you practice this, you'll get better at it. You're just lining up north and south poles in, in a specific way so that it, they all line up together. Now the next part, um, and I want to do this careful too, is clicking this together so that now you have the necklace type chain. Now um, I want to show you this very carefully. You want to fold this together so that there's four um, spheres on the end. And then that zips up again. Uh, sometimes you can mess this process up, but this, this goes pretty easy. So now you have uh, these spheres that are pretty much aligned up, and this is where you get these cards in to play. Now the reason you have thick cards is because it creates a magnetic barrier between uh, the magnets that you want to separate uh, from the magnets that um, you want to connect them to. Now you want to count out, this particular set is a 6 by 6 by 6, so I'm counting out 6 rows of, uh, of, of, of uh, spheres. So there's 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, okay, and then I'll just wedge that card in there, okay, can you see that? Okay, and then I'll take this longer end and kind of bend it, and I'm breaking it from this end, so if you can see this, it creates a nice bend and then it clicks right into place. Okay, So from there I stick that in between the four pieces and then I again break it, okay, if you can see this, and then do it the opposite way again. And then uh, you kind of zigzag back and forth and, and until you um, have a six by however long this is. Okay, it goes pretty easy as long as you're taking these bars. Now the the last uh, the last set of six is a little tricky, so you want to be careful on that because it tends to, you know, uh, break break rank. You just want to press those down again so that they line up, and then very carefully see. You can see this very carefully. Take the edges of these and then just kind of uh, I'm, I'm holding bracing it with this finger and this finger on the edges. I'm just, uh, and it's, it is kind of tricky, uh, but if you do it right, have that, and it clicked it, uh, it clicks together. So now you have uh, uh, a big pack of six by fours. Now all you have to do is, again, like you did before, count out six spheres, take this out, and then I mean, take it down, and then just simply click that one side together, and then cut it, cut, cut it uh, in that direction, and then um, fold it over like that, and take it out, and there you have your uh, cube. So if you have any comments or if I didn't explain anything correctly, I'll be happy to show you. But that'll get you. Uh, your buckyball back into your buckyballs back into that cube very easily. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.